So for example, what if I take the following region in the xy plane, if I draw the line y equals minus x, and, and the line parallel to it, y equals minus x plus 3, and say the line y equals 1 half x, and the line y equals 1 half x plus 2. And think about the region that we enclose in this. Well, the goal will be to do double integrals over shapes like this. And if you tried to do this how it is, it would be pretty difficult because from here to here, you're bounded by these two lines. And from here to here, you're bounded by those. And then you're bounded by these. It's kind of a mess. But instead, we'll try to think of new variables and we'll have a formula later on for evaluating double integrals with a change of variables. So to think, the thing to think of here is, um, well, we need to come up with new variables that sort of describe this region in an easier way. One way to do that is to think about the quantity y plus x. So when we're on this line here, we're on the line y equals negative x. So on this line, y plus x is always equal to 0. And when, when we're on this line here, y plus x is equal to 3. So in some sense, this quantity tells you which of these parallel lines that you're on. If you know the value of this, uh, you can say which parallel line you're on. So I'll, I'll call this a new variable, u, which you're supposed to think of as, you know, given the value of u, I can tell you which of these parallel lines you're on. Just like if I know what x value you're at, I know which vertical line you're on. So this is a kind of change of variables. Another quantity that's important in this region is the quantity y minus 1 half x because um, y minus 1 half x is equal to 0 on this line and on this line here y minus 1 half x is equal to 1 and on this line here y minus 1 half x is equal to 2 so this is another important quantity, and I'll call this v. So v tells me which of these parallel lines I'm sitting on. Um, and with these two pieces of information, I can describe any point in the plane. If I know which parallel line a point is at in this direction, and if I know which parallel line it's on in this direction, I can tell you where it's at. But the reason these are nice is because the region is completely described by the fact that u goes from from 0 to 3 and v goes from 0 to 2 because we sort of start at this line where y minus 1 half x is 0 and we go up to the line where y minus 1 half x is equal to 2. So with these new variables I can describe this shape as just the box where u goes from 0 to 3 and v goes from 0 to 2. And the actual change of variables, so the formula that takes you from a point here to a point here, we'd have to solve for that because because right now we just have expressions for u and v, not x and y, which we had before. So to do that you have to do some solving Let's see, if I take u minus v, I get x minus negative 1 half x, which is 3 halves x. 
So x is 2 thirds u minus v. And let me go over here and solve for y. If I take 1 half u plus v to cancel out the x's, I get 1 half y plus y. So I get 3 halves y. And this says y equals 2 thirds times 1 half u plus v. So let me maybe write this separately. The transformation which sends x to 2 thirds u minus v and y to 2 thirds 1 half u plus v turns this rectangle into the parallelogram shape from before. And this will be quite useful, as we'll see later on. But that's enough for change of variables for now.